Hey guys, welcome to Sandwich Bay Bird Observatory. We're in the Moffis right now uh, for I take this opportunity to show you the contents of the moth trap that we put out last time. If you're new to moth trapping and you're interested in getting started, I recommend having a few books nearby when you're taking the moths out of the trap, covering macro moths and some of the micro moths. It's helpful to have some pots at hand to pot up some interesting moths and get a closer look as well. This is the Mercury Vapor Robinson trap that we set last night. And this is the light that was sitting on top of it. The moths were attracted to the light and funneled down inside the trap, which is filled full of egg cartons, giving them places to hide and sit on. I've put a cloth over the top of the trap to stop the moths from escaping. We're now gonna go take a look at what's inside and afterwards let them go. As you can see, I've taken the moth trap outside. Top tip. They're quite active, so if you're doing this at home, don't do it indoors. We're now going to see what's inside. Just here, we can see we have loads of small elephant hawk moths that are sitting on the underside of the towel. We have a common wainscot, colourful brimstone, and a dark spectacle. This is a micro moth called the small magpie. So I'm going to take out some of these egg cartons. Straight away I can see that it's very busy last night. Here we have Swallow Prominent, one of the prominent species. And this moth here is known as Treble Lines, known for the three lines going across the wings. This brown grey one here is called Rustic Shoulder Knot. So is that one there. We have a marbled minor species. This is a group of three very similar looking species that you can't actually identify in the field. We have vines rustic. And on the underside, what do we have here? We have similar on the other side, more treble lines, heart and dart, and another swallow prominent. Next. We have a delightful gold spot next to a shark and fox moth. Here we have another busy trap, poplar hawk moth, another fox moth, a couple of treble lines. We have a sand dart here and a little micro moth known as Notocelia sinospatella. And just the marbled miner underneath. What have we got next? Got another small elephant hawk moth. This white ermine, lovely looking creature. Pebble prominent. And underside, well firstly you can see this, this nice lime hawk moth. We don't get many lime hawk moths here, so that's quite nice to see for us. And the rest, we've got marbled minor. Cetaceous Hebrew character. A few heart and darts, another treble lines, and vines rustic. This yellow bell on this carton here, next to some small elephant hawk moths and a turnip on the top, walking around, getting active now in the sunlight. Here's the diminutive Chinese character which disguises itself as bird dropping. 
we're finished going through the trap now. I hope you enjoyed the selection of moths from last night. Hope everyone's doing okay at home and hopefully we'll see you back at the observatory again for future moth nights. We will really appreciate all your support during this situation and stay in touch and keep up to date with sightings on the website.